All right, here we go, guys. It is on. Trash Money Bra against Droplet739. And this is it. We are officially beginning the sub battles against Miss Botez. We got a lot on the line here, uh, mainly my lower body. Um, the, the loser has to do squats, and I'm telling you, I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I should also mention that I have a similar platform to uh, Andy Yang. So everybody who wins for me gets a thousand bits. A thousand bits. Yes, kitty, 35 squats. I know, I hate that. Don't even tell me about it. My ass already looks good enough. I don't need this. I don't need it. A freedom dividend, exactly. Exactly. So I'm telling you, you got to earn your keep here, guys. Fight, fight for the, uh, fight for the good people here. All right, what do we got? We got a trash money bra, playing like one. Um, <laughs> no, he's playing well. He played a London system, but he took on d6, and that gave Black cd6, and thus e5, e4. So a lot of space here uh, for Droplet. But after knight e1 and f3, I think we could really fight back with the counter punch. Yes, that's right. Chess.com slash live. Thanks for 42 months from Bigfoot. Happy 2020. Indeed, man. Let's get that F3 in. Oh, yeah. I love to see it. Oh, I love to see that. So, again, these wins are super important. It doesn't matter about, like, oh, if, if we win, you're going to get beaten by someone else. No, it's one game. It's one game, guys. So, really, really important. Got to get these wins. Because if we win the first five games, it's the match is over. It's just, it's just all added up. Okay. What's going to happen here? Can we take? I like the move queen c1. The move a4 looks suspicious, but we're playing droplet 739. And anyone who bothers to put the number 7, 3, and 9 after their account name definitely can't come up to a trash money bra. Trash money bra is a guy who spent time on that username. He thought about that. Droplet739 probably just randomly selected that. So we're dealing with a guy who cares about his account. He cares about his rating. And he's going to be putting up big numbers today. Are we going to have another sub battle after this? Uh, press X to doubt. Oh, I'm a big fan of this move. I'm a big fan of this move. So we're opening up the uh, F file here. Opening up the F file. This is great. I love to see that. Uh, what I don't love to see is the fact that Trash Money Bra is seems to be playing this game in a different time zone because he's down like 40 seconds. Like, let's go, buddy. Pick it up. Pick it up. Dude. Hello. Make a move. Oh, man. Well, okay. I didn't... I'm not sure if I would have preferred his time just to keep taking down or for him to make that move. Well, it definitely wasn't a good one. Okay. They're not getting any better. Okay, I can respect that. I can respect Rook F4. Yeah, it's better than Alt F4. Yeah, where is this queen going? We gotta get back on time. Dude, you're down 40 seconds. Let's go, let's go. We can't be taking these L's. Trash money, bro. Let's let's go. This guy's rated 944. And the thing is, anybody who's rated below 1,000 can lose the game at any point. That's what you have to have to remember. There is no point. There's absolutely no point in a match between two people under a thousand where it is over. Never. It is never, ever over. So all you have to do is play fast. Just play fast. Just keep your stick on the ice. The puck will just bounce off it. Okay, G3. Again, not a good move, but a move. Valuable. He's staying in the game. The stick's on the ice. The time's ticking down for Droplet here. Droplet sounds like a like a very small version of Omid. Like, Omid's got the big drip, and this guy's the Droplet. Knight G2. Again, doesn't have to be a special move. Just, just a move. Yeah, just take that. Just, just take it. Nobody care. Okay, sure, but do it faster. It's all good, man. It's all good. This guy's, yeah, we got a Fianchetto Knight, but who cares? Yeah, he's threatening that, but who cares? Sure, Knight H4, threaten his queen. He's probably gonna spend some time on that one. Oh no, my queen's attacked. 
<laughs> See, he's panicking. He's panicking. This is what we need. This is what we need. Look, he's the he's he's flustered. He has no idea what to do. I tell you, you attack someone's queen under one thousand, it's like a minute off the clock. All right, now you could. You, I don't mind you blundering this. You can blunder that. I I really don't care. Just move. You're up on time. Time's even. Trust me when I say this game is not going to be decided over the board. Just do, do anything, anything, anything. Just attack the queen again. Okay, sure. That's a fine move. It's a fine. Don't care. I don't care. Just don't panic. Just don't take an hour to move your queen. Just move it. Move it. Please move it. Maybe queen d2 for the boys. Yeah. We don't care about position here, buddy. Oh, please move. Please move. Oh, trash money bra, please. No, buddy, your queen's attacked. Move it, or you're gonna, I'm gonna move you out of the country. Come on, buddy. Thank you, thank you. That is the best square on the board, not. That is the best square on the board, not. Trash money, bro. I want you to know that you need to play faster. I want you to know that. I have, I have a strong suspicion. Oh, he played, okay, he played a good move. I have a feeling that, that this might not be played, but even still, we also have to remember it's a three plus two game. So people are, you know, only gonna be flagging if they're super slow. And the first guy that comes to mind is Trash Money Bra. Let's go, let's go. Give me something here. Okay, a pawn, sure. Okay, rook a2, but the guy's playing slowly. Just attack his piece, he's gonna get confused. I mean, I know it's not a good move and I know that this is really, really hurting. Okay, let me give him a check. Actually, no, checks are bad. He's only got one square. He yeah, he's gonna be forced to do that. Yeah, see, it's too quick. It's too quick. Okay, rook c1, I respect that. He didn't blunder rook d1 or something. Let's go d5, d6, d7, rook c8. He's got 19 seconds getting flustered. Of course, I'm thinking very positively because we have five seconds and we're getting flustered. Move, move. Pick a piece up and move it. Move it again. Pick it up again and move it again. Just touch something. Okay, thank you. Anything. Anything. D5. Please. Please. Oh, this guy played H6. Man, this guy's good. Okay, that's a good move. Yes. Take that. Yes. Take that. It's not three check. What are you doing? This guy's knight's like a slinky. What's going on here? Move. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was the quality of that game. Uh, Mario Bros in the chat says that was a good effort. <laughs> a good effort. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Guys, yeah, I really picked everyone here so they could give me a good effort. Not. We need wins. We need wins here. There we go. D Price against Shadow Wolf. Here we go. This is going to be a close one. Very close by rating. Very close by rating. We went down in the first one and we got to bring it back here. We got to bring it back. Yeah, my king falls. Ali Reza's though is, is uh, his birth date. Now, I still think he should change that, you know, <laughs> but at least it's his birth date. You know, it's a real number. It's not like, you know, what, what are these numbers? 0407, what is he born in the fourth month, seventh day? What is this, a different way of writing his birth date? Come on, man, of course not. That only works with one player per generation. Ali Rez already used up the quota. Flip the board? Uh, yeah, okay. We, I, I figured you guys might enjoy watching White's position get torn apart, but we can watch the bra, the bra squad, the bra view. The bra view.
So it's important to remember that um, as you move up the reading levels, that things are going to change in terms of what you expect from the games. Remember, again, these are three plus two. So yes, the position's important. Yes, the time's important, but it's not just one or the other. Unless you're under 1,000, then nothing matters. Um, but yeah, as you... Oh, okay. So this is, is not quite going to be like a tactic because you bishop f6. Normally, c5 is kind of an idea because you play c4 after and trap that bishop. So that is an idea, but right now, bishop makes f6 is possible. White gets pretty good grip on the light square, so I don't think it would be a winning tactic or anything. Still playable, still fine, but, uh, but, but c5 isn't crushing or anything. Anupam, no, that's your birthday. Doesn't count. You're in a different generation than uh, Faruja. He's he's part of the old generation, the old guard. Okay, what's going on here? We got probably just a slightly worse position. Nothing catastrophic. Um, I can okay, c5 played. So is White gonna play bishop takes? I think there's compensation after bishop takes, but huge juicy juicy square there. Very uh, very nasty. Now. Black can try to take this diagonal, but I think just offhand, I would say this position is probably easier for white to play. Uh, easier for white to play. What's in that cup? It's a protein shake. And I'm doing it super slow. Mm. I don't like that. Dude, he wanted to play this move anyway. All you're going to do is force him to do that. Don't like it. Don't like it. This knight is so strong here. We got a rough position. Al Hashmi resubbed probably to the wrong channel based on the message for eight months. It says Botez for the win. Al Hashmi. What can I say, buddy? If you were a betting man, you'd probably be betting on the right team right now. Vertical, thanks for the one year, man. Glad you're here. Appreciate the support. Okay, the only good thing about this game has been the time. But like I said, as you move up in, in rating, it's not just not just one thing. You gotta you gotta keep uh, everything good, especially in a three plus two game. There's no flagging. Well, I mean, you can still flag, but there's no playing for time in this. It's not that easy. Well, the thing is, both of these guys have numbers in their names. Ooh, e5 is a nasty move too. So there's a few things to watch out for. That, uh, that. Uh, well, I wasn't. I didn't. I couldn't even finish seeing how much was wrong with the position. And he all. It was just over. Well, rook takes d6 is a fancy way. I wouldn't expect a 1,000 maybe to. To necessarily see that he does rook takes e6 is a super good move too um this is a little bit devious you we might have some tricks like bishop takes h2 and queen c7 and then rook takes e6 that's a it's a pretty like long range idea yeah do it bishop h2 buddy then trade the queens play rook takes i mean at least at least that's something you know at least they played it at least that's something I mean, we're still in trouble, but it's something. Hey, you know, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's the best move I've seen all day, honestly. Best move I've seen all day. And that doesn't say much, seriously, because this tactic only sort of helped us. But, okay, the time is really good. The time is really good. The issue, oh, the issue is the position. So, first of all, this king, why is it going there? Dude, bring your king to the middle of the board, attack his rook. What are we doing over here? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? My goodness. Maybe, okay, don't watch too much of this, guys. This might affect you. What on earth? G5, okay, king back, what's going on now? Rook check, king back again, sure. And we got a great rook here. It's like the kid in the corner with a dunce cap on, staring against the wall. 
yeah, C4, great. Yeah, we got a pass, Pat, yeah, guys, hey, yeah, radio to base, we got a pass pawn on the way here. Yeah, C3, we got a pass pawn, because it's past all my other pawns. Can we please, sir, can we proceed? I need to see this move, and then I need to see A4, because he doesn't know what en passant is, and we take it, and we, we crush it for the boys. Okay, H4, I, I can at least respect that move, Wh whereas the rest of his moves, you know. Uh, unfortunately, buddy, I don't even have something to recommend for you because D price is putting on an endgame clinic. See, the thing is, we are getting blasted by this three plus two time control because everyone in my chat is just a dirty flagger. <laughs> I think that's what we learned here. All you guys are filthy flaggers and we don't stand a chance. Take that. Do something. Yep. Check, please, for the boys. Yep. Take that pawn. Run it, baby. He's got 20 seconds. He's going to start panicking. Yeah, Panikin Walker. Panikin Skywalker. Let's go. Yep, yeah, let's go there. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this one would have been nicer. Cause maybe go there, but okay. Okay, Panikin. Yes, yes. No! What the hell? It's three plus two! It's three plus two! Ah! It's three plus two! You have two minutes on the clock! Ah. It's three plus two. It's three. Three plus two. It's five. It's three plus two. This is so bad. So bad. Oh my goodness. D price doesn't even know what's going on. The, the checkmate is just not occurring. Oh, there it is. Nope, there it isn't. Yeah, king there. I sense a stalemate. S some sort of sketchy. Yeah, king up. You better go up, buddy. I swear to God. Bad coach. Buddy, I am proud to say that I have had no part in this. Rook d5, h2. You know, it's not like the guy was intending to fucking stop your pawn or anything like that. Nah, he's just, he's just occupying the center, maybe. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's just hanging out. Next move, rook d4. No, he's not playing in that move or fucking anything remotely close to that, that's for sure. No, this is, let's pre-move it. Let's pre-move h1 equals queen. Let's do that. Yeah, great. Golf clap. Warship, where are you? Tell you something. Where are you, dude? Now you're online. He's ditching the sinking ship. <laughs> All right. We got Warship against Red Kara Bulmura. Here we go. We are outrated, but honestly, I'd prefer it at this point because I think we've outrated our previous two opponents and it hasn't gone well. A London for Daddy Hambo. I can appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. It depends how Warshep plays it. But right now, it's going really well, actually. Uh, honestly. Uh, you know, th th these type of moves are all valid. This, this is a good, good one, too.
Ooh, no. The thing you have to realize is your knight is so strong here. If you play rook c8, you drop the a pawn, so the rook is stuck there. And you can never defend that pawn to help move your rook because white's about to play a4, a5 if you play queen b6. So, seriously, you can't move the knight to move your a pawn because I play knight c7. You can't play knight c7 because I'm covering it. So this position is a well-known paralysis. Very, very good. Just in case you guys ever get that, seriously, very good to keep that, that knight on b5. So knight c3, not a good move. Knight c3, not a good move. Not a bad move, but like definitely not a blunder, but an inaccuracy, I'll say for sure. I'll say for sure. Okay, so Warship is regrouping. This is okay though. Queen e3, maybe knight d2 next. Ah, uh, queen c2. I'm not a big fan of putting the queen on, on that square, but it isn't, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, the time is okay. Remember, it's 3 plus 2. It's 3 plus 2. This is transitioning all right. I'm a little concerned, not concerned, but okay. Obviously, Black's gonna probably play that move. Uh, I like this. I would have considered b3 because I, I really want to prevent that move. Um, but this is this is good. Definitely training those bishops is good. I would still consider b3, but bishop d3, queen e2 is also super nice. Um, h3 is always a useful move. Tons of stuff to do here. But, okay, black's probably going to double here. White should probably double on that pawn. Just sort of like everybody puts pressure on, you know, the the weak pawn in their opponent's camp. Well, it's honor system, Kelby. Players can take my suggestions, but honestly, Kelby, these fucking players are not taking my suggestions. That's the problem. That's the problem here. <laughs> oh! That's tricky. Queen takes, takes, takes. Rook d3, rook b6, rook check, and we get mated. Oh, man. No, that's not a free piece. That's not a free piece. Okay, plays g3. Now, again, what I always say, and just super good to remember, is look at your opponent's bishop, and that helps you decide what escape square you should make. Number one, it should almost never be the F pawn. Number two, pick the pawn that's the opposite color of that. Meaning that if I go H3, that's a dark square escape square and a light square bishop. So it's really good for me. If I play G3, like basically what was just played, you'll notice that there's lots of uh, hanging pieces. Finally he took it, thank God. Uh, you'll notice that that bishop can go to H3 and basically cut the king off. So it's really, it's really dangerous, really dangerous. So, always play h3, opposite color of that bishop. Anyways, we finally won a piece. Hey, we finally won a piece. Let's go. It's three plus two. We got two minutes. We can do this. We can do this. King up. Let's go, buddy. Um, okay. It's a kind of a funny looking move, but not bad. Yeah, so rook back. Okay, so we're probably going to grab this guy. Um, I wouldn't mind getting like out of the pin in general. Okay, he does that. Um, I mean, h3 is always okay. This knight wants to jump, and to me, that's honestly a little scary, just in terms of counterplay. Um, so I'd be, I'd be concerned about that, you know? Just, just practically speaking, that, that is counterplay. Thank you for 45 months, Grinifwin. Appreciate that, man. Okay, so he's just pushing his pawn. I respect it. Push him, baby. What I don't like, though, is that if that rook goes down... Okay, pawn on a6 is great. Oh, take that. Oh, please take it. Ugh. Oh, see, no one's taking my no one's taking my advice. Trust me, guys, it's a lost cause. Take it now. Thank God. Thank the Lord. We finally got a win. And when I say that, I say that with about 70% certainty, based on what I've seen so far.
Let's finish this off. He repeated the game time. Exactly. Exactly. I'd like to think that. Night F5, let's go, says Neil Tennis. Oh, thanks a lot. Wow. Thanks a fucking lot there, Neil Tennis. Good lord, buddy. Whose team are you on? Neil Tennis says, Night F5, let's go. Well, there you go, Neil. Oh my goodness. Where are these pieces going? I told you, 70%. I told you, 70%. We're witnessing the 30. This is the 30. Oh my God, what is happening? If he checked there and takes, he's like winning. What is happening? We got a pawn there. We just let the king out. Don't ask me why. Ooh, king, okay, king. Oh, what is, oh, what? Okay, take it, take it. Is that your idea? Is he tricking? Is he tricking Red Karu here? No, 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 check, check. Please, please do not lose this pawn. I should please, please stop losing things. Please stop losing things. Keep them, keep all of it. It's yours. No, keep it. Ah. Please keep both of these pawns. That's all I want. Just keep the pawns. Keep them. Now you might have noticed that I did not say keep the rook. He's probably gonna use that against me. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Rook, one of theirs, those squares, oh no. He's gonna forget the rook's hanging. Oh, I'm predicting some bad stuff happening. Like the rook being blunt, okay. Respectable move, but I'd say it's very likely going to be a draw. Although, that's another 70% coming up. Oh my god. Oh no. He's going to push. Push. He's going to queen. Takes, takes, takes. Oh, he played rook g6. That's incredible. How did he do that? How did you do that? He Whoa. We're winning again. How did he do that? There's no way. We're winning again. Okay, if he goes there, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go there? No, you're gonna queen. Okay, okay, do it. Yeah, and? And then what, buddy? Get the move ready. Get that move ready for the boys. Yes, 70%. Yes! Oh! Rook, Rook, please, Rook, please. Please. <laughs> Take it. Oh. oh, please made him. No, no, don't do this to me. Made him. Please just made him. Please made him. Let's not. No, no, no. Okay, I'm at, I'm at least at 80% right now. Please just made him. Let's not mess around here. Okay, that's a move that demonstrates he knows what he's doing. Yes. Okay, you have a minute and 41 seconds. Let's just all relax. Take our time. No rush at all. Chill. Totally chill. Relax. Queen, please. Or I don't, and just not that. Okay, what? Okay. That is fucking ridiculous. Are you kidding me? These guys are never fucking playing in any EUNA ever again. None of these fucking guys on my team. None of them.
Calm meditation is in order. Calm meditation is in order. Technically, that felt like a loss, but I promise you the scoreboard does not reflect that. So we actually have, I know it's crazy, we actually have a rematch. There we go. We got it back, guys. We got it back. Alexandra is playing the fucking Bee Gees on my Spotify. That's why the Bee Gees keeps fucking playing. It's like Alexandra fucking jacking the Spotify. No, I'm trying to play some techno and watch my bras here. And I got the fucking Bee Gees coming on. I tell you, when the lads talk about Bee Gees, that they're, they're talking about something else. And I might need one of those to stay alive right now. Fucking ridiculous. Get the f give me get the f the BGs are coming at me, boys. The BGs are coming at me. Let's see what's going on here. We got a rematch. These guys have not yet decided the winner. And this is just, that's just flying around. That's just saying hello. Oh, Tri Skeleton, now here with the support. Ah. ah I would have moved it somewhere else. I would have moved it somewhere else. Move it! Oh my god! He moved it! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I still think we're gonna get made in here, boys. <laughs> I still think. Oh my goodness. What? What? In what world is that a thing? That's a, this is a puzzle rush for you. That's a puzzle rush. No words, this is rough. This is absolutely rough. How did he become a 1300? Well, Soldier Demon 11, that's a great question. I would actually love to tell you how he became a 1300. Because you can see on the scoreboard, he's actually a 1299. So it was his draw with an extra queen. That's why he's 1300. I'm so glad you asked that question. Oh, buddy. That's why he's 1300. Oh my goodness. Just, just, just move. Just move the rook. Just move the rook. We got, we got a pawn for the piece. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, all right, yeah. Let's just, for the lads, maybe one of these, anything. Maybe, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah.
Uh, D Price, thanks for the four months. So D Price is a sub in my channel. Plays for Team Botez, beats the shit out of our guy, and now comes back here and subs. Guys, when I say it's been a rough day, I just hope you know what I mean. I just hope that there's, like, that you can put that in perspective. Did I see your sub? Yes, Gakos. Pretty sure I called that one out. Not sure, though. If I forgot, I'm sorry. Thanks for 22 months. I know what you're lolling at, buddy. Believe me. He feels guilty. <laughs> okay, I like King E5. I like it. If I get, if I get, yeah, 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 go, 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 go. Technically, this is a really good move here, but I respect F5. I respect F5. Actually, no, hang on a sec. Here is nice E7. He gets that. Never mind. Uh, this is better. Good, good. Um, what's the dare? Oh, it's just some, pu uh, some not some push-ups. A fitness challenge, uh, Nicola. Got to do uh, 30 squats with 35 pounds. Or the other way around. 35 squats with 30 pounds. Oof. And uh, we just worked out tonight, right before we started the stream. And we did leg day. So I, whoever does this is going to be just shaking. Okay, this is better. I mean, the, the moves are good. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen. This is okay. Okay. Maybe this, maybe, yeah, that's a reasonable move. I mean, I would, I would say that we should probably take the pawn. Okay, but if you go here, this knight doesn't have anywhere to go. He goes back, you can go back, technically. Or you could grab this pawn, either way. Up to you. It's, it's all, you know, it's all okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, he goes there. I think I would have taken it, because now... Ooh, it takes that, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, not ideal. You don't want to step into that discover check, probably. So we lost our pawn. We are going to get this pawn. And if he moves his knight here, we could go up the board. That could be good. If he moves the knight here, we might have a chance. But that is a good move, I have to admit. King f2 is a very good move. Yeah. So, okay. We're down a pawn here. It's probably going to lose. King there, that's fine. Time pressure. Yeah, I hope that the time pressure messes this guy up. But honestly, it might just be a free-for-all now. You have to remember that white has a knight defending both of his pawns. Super convenient. Uh, okay, maybe king up. Something like that. Uh, maybe rook there with idea b5. Okay, he goes here. One of these is probably good. a4, alright. Yeah, we gotta keep pushing this pawn probably, so we maybe move the rook somewhere. Keep pushing, all right, that's fine. Yeah, maybe get a check ski in there, and then push the pawn, something like that. This is, uh, this is something. This is something for the boys, yeah. Because remember, that rook's still tied down to that knight there for, for the time being. Yeah, chase that guy. Okay, that's fine too. I, I'm not gonna hate a guy for taking a pawn. I mean, can't hate on him for that. Um, so we're threatening this. Move anywhere. Yeah, let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't you dare queen that pawn. I've seen this shit before. Yes. Yes. That's the move. This is it, chief. This is it, chief. Oh, don't you dare if you... I swear to God if you get forked. Put that king in the corner. Put that queen in that corner. Take the... Oh, yes. Do it, buddy. Take it. You see that. No, you don't. You almost did, though. Okay, you're going to need to bring your king a little bit closer. 
I know it's scary. Don't you dare get forked. Oh no, this is so scary. I can see every fork everywhere. Oh god. I, the, oh, this is so scary to watch. Somebody's gonna get forked. Ah. Uh, take your time, you have 50 seconds. Sure, yeah, sure, 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 it's a great move. It's far away from the king, I don't care. I don't care. Just don't get forked. That's a good move. He's gonna go back and tell me you see it. Yes, yes. Now, fucking focus. Take his goddamn knight. Now, fucking focus. I swear to God. I swear to God. Focus. Are you kidding me? Alexander fucking paid this guy, for sure. 100%. Uh, I would like to forfeit this point. I would like to forfeit this point. It is currently 3 nothing for Botez. Uh, I, I will not watch another game of his. I, I will not. I will not, I refuse. All right. <sighs> Knight Poacher is repping the bras. Knight Poacher is repping the bras. Brutal, just brutal. We can still win. I agree. We can still win. We can still win. However, however, we right now includes the usernames Warship, Shadow Wolf, and Trash Money Bra. So I want you to say that statement again with that in mind. Why does it say NAU? Because I didn't really have a special scene for this uh, match, and it's uh, it was the easiest to set it up with this screen, to be honest. All right, Knight Poacher against Durkia from uh, Netherlands, I suppose. H6, bishop H4. This is a nasty pin. This is a strong bishop, but how are we gonna get, how are we gonna mobilize here? This already looks, yeah, this does not look good, but if bishop H4, I'm wondering if G5, can he sack or not? Ah. Uh. Tell you something, I can honestly say that it's okay. It's okay, it really is. But I hope that you can appreciate the fact that I cannot, like for my health and safety, I cannot watch you play another chess game. So if I can understand that you stalemated up a queen two games in a row, hopefully you can understand that. And then we're even. Uh, bishop wants to go to e6, knight back, I mean rook over. He's got some ideas, eh? This guy's a tricky guy. So bishop takes h6 is one of the standard ideas in this opening. Okay. He goes here, it's probably not as good. King h7 is just fine, I think, for... Eh, I don't know, maybe king h8. No, not king h8. It's blundering uh, knight g6. Just that here... Whoa, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I 
thing is, if you go back, he gets another chance at that. Okay, he goes there. He's being a little tricky. Maybe he wants g5. I'm not sure. But even if he did, there is queen g3 in that line. So I'm trying to understand what he really wanted from that move. I mean, maybe it's worth playing. I'm not sure. He, he, he does have a way out. Okay, c4. Listen, it's not a bad move. It's interesting. It really completely shuts out that bishop. So this guy is not participating in the game at all. It's like white's down a piece. But the thing is, white's up a pawn. He's got a pretty good rest of the position. But c4 is seriously a very reasonable move. That bishop is completely 100% locked out of the game. So you got to get the rook over. You got to... I mean, you just got to focus on this side of the board. Maybe get the queen over to g5. You you should play the game as if you're, like, up a piece. Sure, take that. You know what I mean? Like, just grab it. It's probably fine. Hurts his own bishop, too. No, you're right. But I'm just, you know, trying to be positive here. I think it does more good than bad. I'm willing to say that. It's definitely a better move. Definitely a better move. This guy, man, he is going on a on a journey here. Where are you going, dude? You gotta let me know. Got to e6, and he's like, huh? Uh. Okay, h4 is looking like a instant move, and he does it. Uh, knight there. Knight there. I don't know where 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 are you going? What are you doing? Right there? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me this guy brought his knight. Don't tell me he brought his knight all the way here just to fucking play knight f6 and lose his knight. Don't tell me that. It's like, dude, just leave it on a5, man. I don't care. I don't want to see you bring that shit all the way to the king's side just to hang it. Please don't do that. Just don't do it to me. Okay, so he goes rook c8. That guy's queen f5 back. What's going on here? This stuff hanging? Oh my goodness, this guy's going back shuffling. What the hell is he doing? Is this guy trolling? That guy's got chest bra sub. Fuck it, we'll take it. <laughs> Listen, you guys might think that that's bad, but if you think that's the worst thing you've seen today, you must have literally just joined the stream. Listen, boys, I will take it. I, I do not care at all. I will take it. Especially because you have to remember that after taking that queen, the winning percentage for the bras here it's probably only around 70%. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like, I can just see some nightmare situation with a back rank mate. Can you imagine queen b2, rook there, queen takes a2, rook there? Like, we're just lucky we have a knight. Do you know what I mean, guys? Like, like I, I'm just saying I can see the potential for losses. I'm trying to invent ways to lose. I'm not seeing them. All I know is that if I see the move g6, I'm like definitely confident. Yeah, see, there's... Okay, this is me. This is actually me. Jesus Christ. Wow, we won a game where it looked like someone was intentionally feeding. But we'll take it because pretty much all my other games, it looked like my lads were intentionally feeding.
All right. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks that cheese or Chessy James for 100 bits. Appreciate that, dude. Uh, Rackdack. Is that Georgia? Georgia against Germany. Georgia against Germany. All right. Time's about even here. My goodness, guys, this is just terrible. The chess I've witnessed today is so bad. So bad. It's just incredible. Yeah, I think I do need to host the check mating with a queen video. I, I seriously do. <laughs> but it... But I don't need to make a video on it. I just need to host a private seminar for tell you something. That's it. That's all I need to do. Ooh, there we go. That is a really bad move. Why is that a bad move, guys? Does anyone know why that's a bad move? Please let me know. What's the magic rule? That's right, chess kid. 12 car garage. 12 car garage. You've only got six cars. So you don't need a 12 car garage. The position was way better when you had six cars in a six car garage. But dude, you don't need a 12 car garage. Now he's going back. Oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. So this is a bad position for black. We'll see if it gets converted. We're at the slightly higher ratings here. That's a That looks like a good move. So rook there, maybe we could grab that pawn and just come back. This is a super good position for white. I mean, black's on the verge of basically knight c7. He's totally lost. Has to give up the queen. So we'll see if he even prevents that. Is it BYD? Actually, yeah, I, I, I'm aware it is, but... Figured you'd be uh, you'd be interested in it, you know. Maybe maybe you could gift gift a sub to Vila. Then he could win it, or he could watch it rather. Because the thing is, I'm sure that all the cultured Botez subs, all the cultured Europeans, they've all watched my videos, and it's like, dude, they they've all seen it. They're all cultured. All the bras, none of you guys watch my videos. I explain how to checkmate with a queen. Yeah, there we go, finally. Let's take that. I mean, you know, just get, just take the material. At this point, I will just take the material. So if knight takes, the king has to take. Otherwise, the queen grabs the pawn. But to be honest, you don't have to take that. Like, yeah, you can just make a developing move. This is good. F4 even, opening up the F file. All these moves look super good. That looks like it wins on the spot. If king there, that's checkmate. If king there, you drop your queen. So there's a... There's a lot of moves that hurt here, big time. Oh, oh, pick your poison, pick your poison. There's no good way to go here. There's no good way to go. It's really bad either way. Finally, an actual, you know, Pornhub submission in PGN format. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Jesus. I forgot what a win looked like, you know? I actually forgot what a win looked like. And, Moj, this was the guy who said he was going to eat him for breakfast. Yes. We and he and he uh, ate him for breakfast. For the boys. Wow. He actually did eat him for breakfast. There we go. There we go. That's right, real spicy boy. Twelve car garage man never goes wrong. So we're up to the eighteen fifty plus. 
We're up to the 1850 plus uh, territory, guys. So I'm hoping that things start to get a little bit better. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. That's please. That's all I'm asking. Nothing crazy. Just asking for just a little bit better. Yeah, this is a fast opening by both players. And honestly, both players have good positions. This is this is the first like pretty decent game we've seen. What is this increment stuff, Yaniv? We're taking it seriously. We're playing nice clean chess here today. And basically that hasn't happened at all. At all. I thought three plus two, we get some nice clean games, maybe some learning. Nope, none of that. <laughs> We don't have any learning around here. Yeah, be careful there, Ladsky. What? What? This is some basic, basic stuff. Just, like... Basic, basic stuff. What? Like, just so bad. Just awful. <laughs> like, this is terrible chess. I haven't seen good chess from pretty much anyone. Maybe I will give Knight Poacher credit because at least he played the game, although his opponent just hung a full queen. Rakdak was the only guy who actually crushed today. He actually just played a good game. This is just bad. My god. My god. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Yeah, try Skeleton. If you want to spam that much, you're definitely going to have to be a sub, dude. Subs get some privileges. But definitely can't have plebs walking around spamming as much as you are. I like your energy though. The 900s played well. Eh. Yeah, all right, we can say that, sure. <laughs> we'll say that. B4 played. Okay, is this, are you guys, are, are we, are we, in, are we come back a bling? Are we come back a bling? What about this? Oh no, sorry, the queen is uh, watching. Uh, we're come back a bling. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. There's a little something here. What do you guys think about that? I still think this might be the best move. Yeah, okay, he played it. Yeah, so you can grab that, then rook takes, whites up a pawn, and then what? Maybe, is knight d3 a move? I don't know, this looks like me being too fancy. No, it is too fancy, because this is covered. This is covered. You can go like rook takes d3, but it's nonsense. Nonsense, don't listen to me. Oh yeah, he took... All right, uh, rook takes c3, I guess. I mean, what else? If knight takes c4, queen takes, guards that pawn. That's the idea, at least. Um, so what do you do here? Yeah, why the long thought? I don't know. Maybe he was thinking about some of the other moves. But okay, I respect it. The fact that he grinded it back to even like this position, it's impressive. I have to say, that's impressive. Rook c8? Not sure. Okay, he just goes for this. He's down a pawn, but he's saying, look, I'm chilling. Also, is this a move? Don't know if that's good. Yeah, rook d2, I like that move. I like that move. Maybe queen's coming here, hitting that rook as well. Hitting that. There's still queen b5 in the air. Okay, he goes here, defending that, sort of stopping my queen b5. I don't know how good that was. I don't know how serious I was about that. Queen h3, I'd love to play. Also, rook on the seventh. Definitely a lot of counterplay coming up. Queen uh, queen there looks like a good move. That, that, that looks like a good one. I would have played queen h3 first, but maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Queen d5 looks like the best move. Um, I don't think this does anything. White should probably play king there. 
Uh, maybe black goes h5 then? Don't know. Be nice to get a rook up there if he goes king g2, that's for sure. Okay, queen f4, that doesn't look like the best move. Looks like an all right move, not the best. Maybe king, just king up. There's no rook b7, that's covered. Spicy Indian Swag has 45 seconds. He does go king g7, it's a three plus two game. So the increment is there. It's important to remember that at all times, guys. This is, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Wait, maybe that works anyway. Okay. Sure. Better take that rook though, or are we throwing hands? Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, that was a big brain move. That was a big brain move. That was definitely a big brain move. Okay, queen there, definitely gonna be, okay. Too easy now. Check. Dude, queen d5, man, why not? What is all this nonsense? Can you guys believe that this guy blundered bishop takes f6 and yet he's winning this game? Isn't that insane? That's insane, right? I'm not crazy. Like, we're dealing with an 1850 here. Yeah, I got this one at about 99% right now. Oof, there it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You told me? You didn't tell me anything, Spicy Indian Swag. That game was trash, buddy. That game was trash. Don't be too proud of that. My God. There we go. Also, Alexandra took white in her game. So there's just massive cheating going on. It's actually Anupan who's supposed to be white. All right, so it's Anupam 2008 against Alexander Botez. If you look at the ratings, that's actually, I mean, nothing closer, right? 2105 against 2104. This is, and you like to see the flare. Look at that. Look at that. Anupam rocking the Montreal chess bra. Gonna have to update that as of later today for the brand new season of the PCL. But the season hasn't started yet, so I respect the Montreal chess bra support. Love the avatar. Let's see here. Knight d4. Um, looks, like a, looks like Alexander has a good position. Uh, nothing overwhelming though. Both players playing quite quickly. White also has easy play with f4. That's the nice thing. It is six, Raven. I'm glad you like it. Also, Sraven, if I'm not mistaken, I think you got a one month extension on your diamond. Pretty sure that was you. Pretty sure. Because you did well in a viewer tournament. Pretty sure that was right. F4. Okay, I like it. This is just an easy plan. You know, if you take, the bishop can take, let's say, and all sorts of threats there. Um, if white ever plays this move, yeah, there we go. Um, there's gonna be some tactics here. Now, I don't think it's the end of the line. Yeah, okay, wow. I actually would have considered there potentially sacking a rook. Uh, so Alexander did it this way. I think she's just in huge trouble after f6, bishop h6. This is gonna be a wreckage if, if white plays it correctly. And Anupam is playing confidently here. Maybe like h4, h5, bishop can come to h3. Uh, queen d2, queen, okay, that's that's fine. This knight's probably gonna hit c5 and maybe e6. Also, remember this pawn, you have to defend that. Can't just be dropping that pawn. Um, so I, I would have said maybe h4, h5. Instead, Anupan with bishop there. Not exactly what I would have gone for. So Alexander can take this pawn, but maybe do we try for just queen f2 here? 
Queen F2 is a huge move. Queen F2. Ooh, okay, Rook F2 is still good, I think. But Queen F2, I think, would have been nasty. Queen F2 would have been nasty. Um, maybe still could have played on with King H7 as black there, but okay. It's a whole other line. Uh, yeah, Alexander is definitely making a comeback here. I'd probably play H4. I don't see another move. Maybe King G2, H4, look for H5. Pawns are falling over here. Uh, but there was definitely some crushes there. Yeah, a Alex got a, got pretty lucky. There were definitely some some wins there for Anupam, but okay. The match goes on. The match goes on. What is it going to be? Queen E7, H5, just right off the bat. So if takes, takes, that bishop contributes to the F7 pawn. Ooh, hang on a sec. Can I just take that? I feel like I would take it, honestly. Yeah, I would have taken that. Seriously, you take that and you play queen g5. I think that the queen beats the rooks there, I want to say. I have this feeling. Rook f8. The, the problem is that white's position starts to run out of threats. I almost want to take this. Maybe go a5. But the problem is... Ah, I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do. Okay, a5 played. So this pawn is hanging, but I'm not... Maybe not that concerned because I get this f5 square for my rook or potentially my bishop. So maybe that's all right. And the a pawn was hanging as well. The a pawn was hanging. The wins were missed earlier. Queen f2 was a huge move. Still, we got the pressure. Let's see what happens here. Wow, that's an incredible move by Alexandra. I can't believe she played that. Looking right in the face of danger there. Wow, that takes some guts there. Queen f6. Jeez. Okay, rook b1. Going over here, I'm a little concerned that that maybe like you commit too many pieces over there and what's the rook doing on b6? Nothing, right? Alexandra can give up that pawn and go for her own attack. That's what's uh, that's what's scary here. I think g4 is probably correct. Hide the king on h2. And if we can get g5, maybe we have a chance again. I think this is wrong though. I, I, I want that rook back over here. Oh, Alexandra, I would never have defended that pawn. Let's go g5. Yes, 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 yes. G5, some chances, some chances. Again, this threat I thought was kind of like a like a fake threat, but Alexandra defended it, so as white, I think you're happy to see that. One of rook g1 or rook f1 looks good. Rook g1 played, so maybe rook g3. You can try to take that pawn as well. You got this defended, and you're trying to play g6. Let's go. Let's go. This is a really close game. Definitely the closest game, I think, of any of the matches so far, I want to say. Yeah, Coach Ferman, they ditched that. They, they took it right out. What do you mean, apparently, Anupam is 11? Agent JL, uh, Anupam is the champion uh, for her age group in India. She's a, she's a force to be reckoned with. And she's here to take out Alexandra. Yeah, 45 seconds, ticking down. Ooh, really ticking down here. This is tough though, she's, she's getting attacked. I don't think that it's completely decisive for white, but I think that it's tough to play for Alexandra. So I, I know why she's thinking. This move, I just think it, we have to get it in. You know, gotta get that G6 in. Okay, it's probably going to be that, and now now comes the important important part because what do you do here? What do you do here? This knight is about to jump in. There's a lot of lines where maybe you take it, but you know, black is uh, you know Alexandra's doing well here. She's staying in the game. Thirty seconds. White's got an attack, but black is defending. Black is defending. Yep, I agree, Agent JL. There's some ideas for, well, both sides, honestly. 
So I think even just takes, takes, king takes, followed by king g3 and rook h2 is totally reasonable. Okay, Anabam decides to take. F5 looks like it might happen if, if permitted. Oh, I felt like maybe F5 was the move. Okay, but, but still, Alexander played a good move. Rook h6, queen f3, and is she going to take that pawn? That looks a little scary. Yeah, she's just going to go there. Okay. What do you do here? Maybe rook back here. I think I like that move. It's flexible for this, which is super scary, and potentially for rook over. Okay, this move I don't love, but it's okay. It's okay. Takes, takes, and the pawn's defended. I totally get that. Yep. I get it. I get it. Yeah, rook a8. So Alexander's giving up this pawn, but taking the open foul. But the thing is, after you take this, the white king defends. Maybe rook h2. So bring the king up or king g3. And rook h2 is a huge move. Rook h2, get in there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Bringing the king in. b5, take that, probably. Yeah, I think take it. Uh, also king e4, yeah. King e4 is respectable. Rook h2, though. I am just... I'm calling for rook h2. Please! Rook h2! See, this is okay, but rook h2 is really good. Really, really good. Please, rook h2. It's, there it is. Rook h2. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. So there's checks. There's also king in. There's also king takes. You gotta watch Alexandra's pawns. That's a good move. Oh, that's a free rook. Or you can check, honestly. Probably both are okay. Okay, probably gotta be a little bit careful here. But the rook easily wins against the pawns. So pawn goes there, rook d2. That's gonna be a win. As long as we play a rook d2. Wait a minute. No. No. What the hell? Ah, just rook d2. Why? 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 What? Why? I respect that move. It's probably the best. It's the best try, but but that was that was a blunder. That was a huge blunder. Yeah. I respect it. It's a good try. Whoa, what's that move? Hang on a sec. Is that okay? Maybe that's okay. Oh my god. These people crazy. are oh. these people are playing some moves I would just okay. not predict. Okay, and the thing is Alexandra has a queen e5 check somewhere. So I think she's okay. Oh g7 check there. Still tricky. There. Okay, she gets the queen. She gets the queen, plays it safe. That's the way to do it. Probably gotta just get that queen. Ah, okay. Now it's too easy. Now it's too easy. Alexandra's gonna win. As I said, that was the closest game of the whole match. And... I think everyone was winning like every time there. Yeah, it was gonna be a checkmate there. What a game. Hey, Johnny. What a game. Oh my goodness. So many. So many wins. There we go. There we go. Bishop there. All right. These guys are playing fast. Got to be careful. Let's not drop pawns in the opening. You know, chill out. Chill out. We don't know what the tiebreak is going to be yet. If it's if it's tell you something against the. Uh, an engine check me with Queen and King. My goodness, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Goat Mentator, thanks for the 16 months. Oinus as well, 16 months. Cheers, guys, for the resubs. So, Bishop H6 played, and H and JL, I mean, if you castle here, there's a knight on E7. I think H4, H5 is such an easy plan. Such an easy plan. Uh, it's just not what you wanna get into, I think. How does rook b8 prevent bishop h6? I wonder. Asian jail is really taking his time on this one. Hey, Lawrence. Thanks for the raid, dude. Oh, sure, chess kid. But then it's not like rook b8 prevents it. It's just not moving the knight prevents it. Yeah, h6, keeping that knight on g8. That makes some sense. That makes some sense. So knight d4 played, hitting the pawn. Long castle. Queen g7 is a threat, by the way, to hit that rook. If the rook moves, queen takes pawn. I'm trying to evaluate just how good that is. Honestly, I'd consider knight g8 here. And then if queen g7, queen f6. That seems to sort of solve my problems. 
And if knight g8, queen goes back, honestly, I might go like knight back d7 or knight back to f6. I know it's not good, but like, you know, I just feel like I have a rough position. Not a bad position, just like a little, a little difficult. Okay, queen to e3. So, I mean, I feel like I have to basically develop this knight again. And okay, queen, queen there. I mean, they can they can draw and rematch if they want, but okay, yeah, it goes ninety two, probably back, yeah. And now if queen h six, it's not so easy. I mean, uh, queen queen f six is uh, queen f six is there. Anapam, we know, we know, very clearly winning. Believe me, my mental has been affected. Agent down on time. Yeah, he used a lot of time early on. He used a lot of time early on. All right, you got to finish development here, though, as Agent GL. Like, at the end of the day, uh, his opponent has all his pieces developed. He's already pushing pawns in the center. You got to be a little bit concerned if you're not... Uh... Yeah, a little bit concerned if you're not keeping up the pace. So, Rook B8, Bishop D7, Queen A5. These are all moves here. Uh, for white, it's more that things are going to heat up here and maybe in the center. I'm not sure if there's any breaks here. You do not want to take this pawn. No. Pawn takes, you lose a piece. Hey, Lawrence, buddy. What are the stakes? It is uh, it is a fitness thing. So we got some squats prepared for the loser. B5. Now it's actually uh, White who, who went in the think tank here. Hey, Abdul. What's up, buddy? Hey, Pink Pocky. All right. So we have a pretty neck and neck battle here. We expected that, though. These these two are. I think they played each other before. They're definitely familiar. Um, the thing is, if king b1, there's actually, is there b4? And if knight takes, we got pawn takes? What's going on here? Oh, I guess there's knight d5. It's gonna get a little messy. Maybe you have played anyway? I don't know. I don't know. For sure he's going knight d5, though. It's like the only move. Okay, so just bishop b7. Just bishop b7. Well, spicy Indian swag, if, if Agent JL can pull this off, we might go to Warship for the uh, for the tiebreaker. It may it may happen. It may happen. Night before. There's some serious uh, serious pressure being created by Agent JL here. I'm liking it. Uh, I don't know why, by the way, he's not playing this. Isn't that forced? I mean, how else do you defend this? Or maybe he's trying not to defend it. Oh, okay, he's going there. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Now he's going there. Uh, maybe A5 or something? What, what else? It seems like Agent JL is a really good attack here. The long castle played. Alright, I respect it. Definitely not short castling, so sure, if you're going to castle, definitely long castle. I still think a5 is sort of what you want to play in this position. So takes and now d5, yeah. Definitely still cannot take there, that's for sure. So isn't this just winning? Or that, yeah. Basically, same idea, I actually forgot the knight could be taken, but you got this, and remember, if the queen goes up and tries to mate you down there, it's simply not mate. This is going to be win for Agent JL. I'm calling it now. 20 seconds. It is 3 plus 2. Don't get too ahead of yourself. But I'm, I'm liking the uh, the energy from Agent. Here, we got D4 coming. We got D4 coming. And also, remember, this is going to be... Uh, is going to be serving me a Queen of the A-File. Okay, Knight D5 for sure. Probably B4. Nice moves from Agent. 
probably get that knight in there, I would say. I mean, yeah, okay, must be good. Must be good. You, you don't have queen a5 and mate, because there is a, a rook a1, but it's just probably a good move. Hey, if you go back here, though, it's not bad, you know, if you wanted to get his, his uh, knight there. Probably king up is the best move here. A5, A4 looks looks really good. I think White's, I mean, probably gonna play G5, F5, G4, F5. So this is a not really threat. No, nah, it's not a threat. Yeah, it's looking good. Thanks, uh, syntax error for the prime. It's looking good, but you don't want to open up too many lines here. I mean, okay, rook d7 is also a fair move. Just cover the seventh rank. Yeah, that's fine. Takes, takes, queen f6. You can slide the rook over, because remember, your queen is covering e6. So yeah, I'd probably just take it. No worries there. Yep. <clears throat> this looks good. Rook there. I still don't see any threats down here. So probably you can continue with like some a4. Yeah, there's no threats here. Uh, so he wants his rook there, but he is allowing the queen to come in. I would probably go back. Okay. Okay, there is going to be a move here. Okay, you probably get a3 in, yeah. And I think you can even take that, run your king around. Everything is protected in your position, so you don't need to overreact. And th remember, this rook is just out of play. So, yeah, you got to watch your pawn here. Be super careful. a2, he's going to tie the rook down. That looks good. Nine seconds to eight seconds here. He's doing a really good job. He's doing a good job, but he's got to finish this off here. Um, you can't active. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He didn't take it. That's incredible. Well, we got pretty lucky there because I was talking about how queen c5 is like just a crushing move. Please keep that pawn defended or okay. He, his queen wasn't on it anymore. It was on a5. Dude, why don't you bring your other queen in? You got two. Let's use them. There we go. Please mate within the next little bit. Anytime now. Whoa. Oh, he did it. Agent JL, I will say you did give me a heart attack because you missed queen c5 check right here. And holy cow, queen there, queen takes c5 check would have really, uh, I mean, I don't know what the evaluation is. I'm just saying this is scary to allow. This is scary to allow. But okay, I think reasonably you, you, you can get out of this. You can get out of this. But anyway, nice game, Agent. Oof. Nice game. We'll take that. The win from Agent JL. Warship and uh, Red Karu still in the building. And we got to put it down to Warship, guys. It's We're putting it down to Warship. So we're going to do one game. Uh, I think that... He stalemated with the black pieces last time, so I guess he'll be white this time. And let's go. Three plus two, one game. Draws are an instant rematch by these guys. You know, we just we just gotta go for it, guys. This is this is what it was designed to be. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna lose, it's gonna be at the hands of Warship. If they draw, they just rematch until someone wins. And if if we get three stalemates with a queen and king in a row, then we win. That's my condition. I hope Botez accepts that. Warship. This is going to be the ultimate redemption, guys. Warship is putting this entire match on his back, and he's, he's dropping the Hambo London system. We saw actually... Oh, man, tell me he was listening. Because he got his knight to b5. And I said, when the knight's on a6, it's not good. Is he gonna, is he gonna remember that? And I was like, oh, you know, leave your knight there. Okay, whatever, he's leaving the knight on c3, it's fine. I was wondering if he would remember that. He's still got a good position. Okay, it's just funny that he keeps putting the knight there and then putting it back and playing c3 and putting it there. It's like, could just put it there in the first place. But okay, you know, respectable knight b1 from the lad. Bishop d3. Bishop d7. Okay, these guys don't really know which pieces are valuable. Let's play c3 here. Ugh. What the hell is that move? <laughs> Ugh. That's possibly the ugliest move I've ever seen in this opening. Oh, b3. Ugh. Oh, it really just hurts me 
Just hurts me as a London system player. Like, why is your pawn not protected? Oh, because there should be a pawn on C3. Buddy. Chestnut says the sea bras can just grab their ankles now. No, rip. Well, it's a good thing this diagonal is getting open because there's not a pawn on C3. Now, pl please notice this. Let's notice it. Okay. The reason this didn't happen, let's just discuss, is because there was no pawn on C3. Okay. Maybe there's some Ladsky moves? No, not quite. Oh, oh god. Okay. It's, it's a move. It's not the end of the world, but it's not the... Not that's uh, not good. Uh. Okay, what are we gonna do here? I, I'm trying to come up with ways to checkmate, and I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing them. Okay, but he's weakening stuff. But then again, like I'll tell you, I, honestly, in this position, if Warshep just played h3, I would I would be so proud. Seriously, I would be so proud. Just because it's an escape square, and it means that he's not going to get back rank made it. No, G4, guys, there's a bishop. You got to be careful. Okay, I like this move. Why? No trades. I do like that move, seriously. I know I'm talking about tell you something here, but... Uh, okay, he's baiting. Yeah, that's a highly intelligent move. Yeah, big time bait there. With that move. Uh, yep, loving it, loving it. Okay, G3, as I said from last time, making sure that he always makes the escape square on the same, uh, you know, square as the opponent's bishop. That's always a great rule. Yikes. Um, so G3 is, uh, that's hurting the boys here. Uh, knight d4, as I said, you know, he's just baiting here. He's just baiting, no problem. No worries. Yeah, takes. Yeah. Queen there. I'm, who cares? Yeah, we got this in the bag. Queen b1, lots of threats here. Maybe queen takes pawn or or maybe fucking, yeah. Lots of threats, though. Oh, queen c1. Ah, uh, queen b4. Respectable. Respectable. This is it. This is it. We need red Karu to just completely fuck this up. Yes, king h3, king h3, yes, 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 check, here, and he's not gonna find the mate. At least we, oh no, oh no, 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 why? Why that one? Not that one, not that one, sir. Not that one, sir. Oh, play that, just play that. Queen h1, yes. Queen h1. Queen h1. Let's go. Queen h1. Chat, I think he knows. You he doesn't know. What oh, the hell is that move? Bitch, bitch. No! Oh. Take it! Take it! Ah! How am I watching? No, don't go back! Don't the go other back. way! Yes! Yes! That's yes. okay, good. Oh my god, what the hell is this? We still have checkmate in one! Okay, let's... Vamos! Out of there! Oh my god, what am I looking at? Oh no! Don't go there! Don't go there! Please don't go there, okay? 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 Maybe just go back and see... Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh man, this is so, this is ridiculous. Just don't check. No, 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 no. Maybe G5, trap the bishop. G5, trap the bishop. This is so stressful. Oh my god. We have made in one. We have made in one. G5 traps the bishop. Okay, we're gonna have to go there, which is seriously unfortunate. But we don't know what he's capable of. Probably queen e3. Queen e3. No! 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 
Maybe this way? No, no don't take no. it! Don't take it! You got a fucking bishop in a pawn! Black could give away all this shit and it's still a draw! Oh my goodness. The guy had a free queen! Why did you resign? <laughs> Why resign there? The guy who stalemated with a queen and a king should not be resigning because that guy can do it too. <laughs> Why are you resigning? Resigned. You have to remember it. There are people just as fucking bad as you. <laughs> There's lots of them. <laughs> what on earth was I just witnessing? Take your time, bud. There's a free queen here. First of all, I can't imagine the heart attack that Alexandra had when this move was not played. I cannot imagine a heart attack. However, queen e3. Queen e3. I mean, oh, oh, what a turnaround. That's like, in fact, in this position, it's probably like a, the, the top three, like, single worst move to play. <laughs> it truly is definitely top three. One, two, three, probably up there. That is such... He had a chance to swing the whole thing. The whole thing back in the other direction. Well, queen f4 is the worst because you go queen f8, right? Oh, my goodness. The honors board. Well, Nicola, thanks for the 3,000 bits. I'm not sure if I deserve it. I'm not sure if Warship deserves it. I I don't know who deserves those 3,000 bits, but there's not many people on my team that do. There's not many people on my team that do. Hey, Rackdack. Yeah, he's the only one that played a clean game. Agent JL. I would say only slightly shaky. He probably was up there with the cleanest game as well, especially because it was against 2600 and it was clutch. So I, I gotta, I gotta give it to Agent JL too. I gotta give it to. All right, so we got 35 squats with 30 pounds of weight. Here we go. There's full cam now. You should be able to see it. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Woo! There we go. How do my knees feel now? Probably not as bad as Warchef's. <laughs> 